Now the Jamaica Civil Aviation Authority, JCAA, is taking steps to address problems with its aeronautical system following today's work stoppage by air traffic controllers. The workers agreed to resume duties following a meeting with the JCAA. Jamaica Air Traffic Controllers Association President Kurt Solomon told our news center that during the meeting, assurances were given that corrective action will begin. The outcome of the meeting provided us with measures to be put in place that would have us work within the context of the current equipment infrastructure serviceability and until certain repairs are effected. So these measures should be going in place right now. And with those measures in place, we have advised our members that we have some assurances of how to operate within the context of the current crisis being faced by the authority. The traffic controllers took industrial action after complaining that the JCAA had not addressed concerns that the aeronautical system, which is used to man the airspace, is faulty and could malfunction. More than 45 flights at the Norman Manley and Sangs International Airports were affected by the work stoppage, which caused the closure of Jamaica's airspace. And our reporter, Vashon Brown, has been monitoring the developments at the Sangsa International Airport in Montego Bay, St. James, and now joins us live. Vashon? Thanks so much, Janella. Well, not much activity is taking place here at the Sangsa International Airport in Montego Bay, St. James, tonight. Now, this is quite the contrast to what we saw earlier this morning when we got here. Now, we'll show you those images in a moment, but with news that air traffic controllers have agreed to return to work, preparations have started to resume arrivals and departures. Now, airport officials have told us that two airlines will be the first to arrive here at 8 a.m. tomorrow and will depart at 10 a.m. Now, in any event, today's strike action will have significant economic implications for the airport, the airlines, ground transportation companies, as well as others. No aircraft on the tarmac at the Sangster International Airport in Montego Bay, St. James. A rough few hours for passengers who complain that they've been feeling the brunt of the strike action by air traffic controllers. Now behind me, you can see some of the passengers that are leaving the Sangster International Airport here in Montego Bay, St. James. 32 flights were scheduled to operate here today. However, only four were able to arrive and depart before 10 a.m. Shane Monroe is the Chief Executive Officer of MBJ Airports Limited. We have 28 flights affected uh, for today. We had a few flights that left before 10 a.m. Uh, but most of the flights out for the rest of the day are cancelled. Frustrated, the passengers who had their flights cancelled gathered inside and outside the airport, many with questions, waiting for their airlines to provide the answers. Miriam is from New York in the United States. My first time in Jamaica, I had a beautiful experience, I love the country, but I come here to fly back to, to New York and then I'm hearing the, the, what's going on is on strike. So I wanted to know why, what's going on. And another problem is they're not accommodating us, like hotel and the COVID test that was already taken. People feel like this is our fault. This man lives in California and was hoping to fly home today to see his son. He explains what he thinks caused the strike. Politics. That's what I think is happening here. Um, the water company had striked yesterday, so they, they got what they wanted. So now air traffic controller will strike today and tomorrow... Another group may strike, and the striking thing will continue. It's interesting. It's messing up our vacation, so it's not. It's not a good. You know, it's not good for tourism. Also, considering a lot of people are not coming down here to Jamaica because they assume that you know it's a safety issue. So now you have water issues and traveling issues and safety issues. This is not going to be good. I was sitting in the Club Mo Bay lounge, and the announcement came over. If you're on this flight, go to this gate. And then, once, by the time I got to the gate, they made the announcement. Everybody leave out of gate 19 and go get your bags and that was it so you do you know when your flight is going to be tomorrow at 5 30. what do you feel about all of this it sucks it sucks really bad but you know what can you do about it but not everyone was frustrated 
we met Sophia from Canada. When I woke up in the morning and I saw it was cancelled, I was really happy because I don't want to go back to Canada. But then my friends were worried because we're like, why is this airline being like this? And then we came into the airport, we were freaking out. But now we're staying at a resort, uh, so it's good. It's a nice resort. Did the airline make the arrangements for you to stay at So what happened was they're giving us 500 US dollars if we book a hotel and so we'll be getting the money back so that's good at least meanwhile mbj airports limited says it is working to keep passengers informed we are working with airlines uh and to ensure that they have the right information about when those flights will resume um, about rebooking on flights we also send out information to the hotel association in terms of um, limiting the transport of passengers here to the airport uh, so that they um, you know, will avoid that journey and not be able to, to board their flights. And just making sure that the concessionaires here are able to provide services to them to make the um, situation as, as comfortable as possible. Vashon Brown, TVJ News. And Jamela Maitland was at the Norman Manley International Airport earlier today and filed this report. Disappointed. Nationals and foreigners alike loaded their luggage back into vehicles at the Norman Manley International Airport Thursday. Then basically lie and say <laughs> that you're traffic. They never tell us the people that the pass drive. There's a disturbance here, I guess, regarding the um, flight, um, the air control people, air traffic control people. So I have to come back on Saturday morning. Airport staff were on hand to assist passengers. As they checked their flight status. The so point sorry to for check in, we're gonna try to check in guys as quick as possible to get you out as quick as possible, alright? On the inside at the departure lounge, the check-in counters were empty. However, all eyes were glued to the flight scheduled monitor. Most of the flights there were cancelled. At arrivals, it was a similar case. Private taxi operators also voiced their concern about the industrial action, and like the passengers, they too were disappointed. I came here this morning after 8 o'clock. Until now, we, I don't get to work and we don't know if we're going to get any for the rest of the day. We also observed several airport support staff going home. They revealed it was due to the strike. Only three commercial flights landed at the Norman Manley International Airport as at 1 p.m. today. And since then, we were told that the airport has been deserted. Some people have even compared it to the first phase of the pandemic when all flights were suspended. And like those far-reaching impact, so too is this strike by the air traffic controllers. I just say I wouldn't be here talking to you. I would be active. I would be still in coconut. I would be earning that income. Adrian, who's better known as the Jellyman along the Norman Manley Highway, says it's been a slow business day. Can't pack up now. I got some of some vicar back. No money to make. So I'm going to pack up. I'm going to go and get you one one if see everybody has passed. So you're hoping that things get resolved so at least tomorrow you're good, right? Tomorrow? I wish I know. I wish it's now. As I told you, I would have less things to put back in my feet. The tourism ministry is also calculating the loss in the sector. It's a very disruptive day. We have about 40 plus commercial flights that have been cancelled. Some flights had to turn back in flight. Uh, we have about 10,000 or so passengers impacted. Um, and that's, of course, of serious concern. All of those people, of course, are coming on vacation or leaving from their vacation. And an apology from the chairman of the Jamaica Tourist Board to those inconvenienced. The only thing you can say is sorry and we'll make it up to you. Jamila Maitland, TVJ News.